Hey viewers, good friends and buddies, Ed Bud here, welcome back to the channel. Training has continued for the immortal sport Salisbury Half Marathon and I've been mainly using one particular shoe which I feel is one of the best thus far, the Hoka Oni Oni Carbon X. Managed to take reps at 500 meters with 200 recovery at 5k speed. I really, really struggled today. I don't know why. It's really, really difficult. I don't know whether it's sort of accumulative fatigue, sort of going back to work. Um, oh man. Oh. Decided to mix it up a bit today. So I'm out here at Mudford Recreation Ground. Beautiful fields. I used to play football up here when I was a wee lad. And, uh, Put in some all weather pitches now. And then across this way, you've got the athletics ground. Oh, right, I better get on back. One mile warm down, I guess. It's gonna have to be pretty slow today. All right. So you just saw some footage there from my training on Saturday. That session saw eight by 500 meter repeats with 200 meters of recovery in between. As always, I kind of topped and tailed the run with some warm up. I find that's been really helping of recent time. I headed up to a local recreation ground. Uh, I know that area had some good pavements, relatively flat pavements, and a huge big green field area. I was very conscious that recently I'd put in a significant number of miles on pavements and on road. So I really wanted to try to get some miles in on grass to try and ease the impact on those knees a little bit. And you know, they are 40 year old knees, so you know, they're not the, they're not the greatest. Need a bit of an MOT on them perhaps. Most days they feel fine, but occasionally you can tell that they're a bit like a car that's been rolled out of the garage, you know, one of those classic cars like a Triumph Stag or something like that. Not even sure, maybe American viewers will know what a Triumph Stag is, but kind of like an old sort of classic car, typical kind of UK classic car. So it's kind of nice running around those old football pitches. Took me back to my sort of younger days when I was sort of 15, 16. Loads of my friends and I would go over there, play football on those pitches all day until it kind of got dark. I think we even used to take torches at one point to try and illuminate the pitch so we could continue playing. Ah, reminiscing, you know, about good times. No responsibilities, you know, when money wasn't an issue, just having fun. Hey, but every day can be like that. So it gave the legs and the ankles a bit of a respite. It's been really hard training thus far, I've got to be honest. I really feel that my fitness has gone up. My ability to reach those higher paces has got better and better and improved, but certainly taken a toll. I have to say I found that workout really, really tough. There were swirling winds, a headwind for quite a large portion of the training run. And that area, I think I kind of forgot just how hilly it was. It's right on a hill and some of the areas around that recreation ground that I used uh, for some of the repeats were very hilly, lots of elevation. So I just found it really tough. And towards the very end of the run, in the uh, warm down, I got caught in a serious, serious uh, rainstorm. So I got absolutely soaked to the bone and the Carbon X's certainly got wet. Although I have to say, after a few hours, they dried out really, really quickly. So very, very happy with that kind of aspect of the shoe. They dried out much, much quicker than some other shoes that I've recently been training in. 
That aside, I found that these shoes handle heels really well. I think the kind of rocking action, the plate, and the slightly lower drop really do help when going up any elevation. So certainly a bit of a boon with this shoe. So the next day, saw kind of my attempt at a 10K time trial, but I had lots of things against me. Some of those things were little sleep, bowling, swimming, cinema, and eating my body weight in popcorn. Fortunately though, Graham Still, a member of the Yeovil Town Road Running Club, had delivered a new shirt for me. I'll throw it up on the screen so you can see it. Really fantastic with the Ed Bud name on there. Really, really high vis, so perfect to let me stand out on that starry, starry night. I managed to hit about seven minutes, 10 per mile, but the legs did feel fatigued towards the end of that run and I kind of struggled and kind of cantered in at the end. I've really been exclusively using the Carbon X over the last couple of weeks to try and plow as many miles into the shoes against lots of different training activities, different paces, different types of runs. Certainly these shoes work fantastically well on pavements and on roads and they weren't even a terrible disaster on grass where I did utilise them on the Saturday morning repeats run. I really do love that reflective text on the front of that new shirt and on the back as well. Kind of good advertising for the club. It's always a good thing to try and advertise the club and get some more members involved. And it provides me with a safe garment as well to wear on those nights. The nights are really drawing in now. It's absolutely pitch black outside now. I'm recording this sort of later in the evening, but the uh, sun goes down. Seems to be earlier and earlier, just minutes and minutes every day. So uh, kind of the summer's really over. Bit of an enforced rest day on the Monday. Had to return my daughter back up to uh, London. So a bit sad about that. We had some good times. That side, good memories were made. Until the next time. After a good rest, I doubled up on the runs on Tuesday. So got up early, three miles, nice easy pace. Although in fairness, the legs didn't want to go at an easy pace. I came in much, much faster than I really should have. Supposed to be about eight minutes per mile pace. I think here about seven minutes, 38 per mile. So the legs just wanted to move, they wanted to go fast. Later in that day, it was more speed work. Kind of training was a little bit out of sync really, but again, the legs wanted to go fast. So I hit it for some speed work. It was 10 times 400 meter repeat at my 5K pace with 100 meters of recovery in between. At least this training session, only clocked in at a total of 6.2 miles, so I didn't have to do too much of a warm up and warm down afterwards. I really didn't have an awful lot left after that. Total pace overall for that one was seven minutes and two seconds per mile. So some serious speed, some serious pace. I have to say that these shoes really do make you move. You don't have to put a huge amount of effort to get some serious pace going in the Carbon X. This shoe really is fantastic, guys. Do check it out if you can. I know some of the viewers have commented that they just can't get it in their areas. I know uh, South Africa, apparently it's really difficult to get hold of. I think I actually bought this shoe from a Scottish company. Um, there's only a few places locally, certainly, where it's available. I think uh, Alton Sports stock it over near the Basingstoke area, but there's very few other places. It really is a winner. If you're not a fan of the Vaporfly, if it didn't work out for you, please try this shoe out. It does work and it's incredibly comfortable and you can get some serious pace. So over those repeats, I think I came in at about 43 minutes. Was it? 43 minutes, 50 seconds. I was really happy with that performance, especially after a hard day back at work. So again, I followed that up today with some steady miles, nine in total. The target was seven minutes, 30 seconds. Again, I managed to come in a little bit under that. I was really pleased with that sort of level of effort. Again, it's been a pretty hard work week for me this week. Lots and lots of stuff going on, lots and lots of running about, sort of things out. So I was really, really um, glad to get that nine miles under my belt at a good pace. That seven minutes, 30 pace, really has become now just like the norm. It's just easy for me to reach. So clearly that training is working. I've had faith in that training and it's getting me there. Okay, that's just about all for me for today, guys. Thanks for watching through to the end of the video. Please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Hit the like, make sure you click the bell for notifications of when new videos are launched. 
Please comment below and tell me how training for any events that you are doing in the near future is going. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.